Hey there, welcome to the 54th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. In this tutorial, we're going to make a random password generator. We'll be using a lot of things that we've already learned in Easy JavaScript, including string methods, the for loop, the ternary operator, event listeners, the random password generator, uh, excuse me, the random number generator, and basic functions. So what you have in front of you is just a simple uh, HTML form, uh, not really a form, just a bunch of input items, including a number item which takes uh, an input of how many characters you want the password to be, uh, a symbol and number checkbox, a submit button, and an output text box. Uh, this obviously does nothing because we don't have any code behind it. So let's explain the JavaScript that I've already written for you here. So the first three variables that I declared, char, num, and symbol, are basically just placeholders for the different types of characters that we'll be using in our password. So the alphabet, numbers, and basic symbols. Uh, you can include more. These are the ones I'm using in this tutorial. I have also assigned uh, most of uh, all of these uh, input and button IDs in our HTML form into various variables so that it's easy to uh, understand and get, including submit, your password, symbol box, number box, and the number of characters, chart now. So let's create a function, uh, a password function, and quickly test it before we start messing with the HTML form. So this will be really easy. We'll just do function. I'll call it the password. And it'll take two, uh, two parameters, uh, which I'll call L for the length of the password. So if we specify 12 here, it'll be 12 characters, and characters, uh, which we'll be passing on based on either char, num, or symbol, or a combination of two or three, or just one of them. So we'll do this. Uh, I'll declare an internal variable, uh, a local variable. I'll call it pwd, and I'll just say it's a string. It has nothing in it right now. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to create a for loop to go through the characters that we're passing in. So let's say we're passing in these 52 characters to go through them. Uh, select a character at random and uh, add it to the PWD uh, string on one by one. So we'll create a for loop. We'll do var i equals to zero. i is less than l, which is length. Looks a little bit different. I should have used another character, but you understand. i plus plus. So I'm going to write this uh, write this line out and then explain it uh, as best as I can. So concatenating to PWD char uh, ters characters dot uh, char at. So I'm going to pause here and explain this to you. So we have the characters that are being passed into the function from our program. Uh, it will take a character at a random uh, number. Uh, specified here. So if it's five uh, and we're passing in just char, it'll take zero, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll put F in PWD and keep going until we uh, do it 12 times or however number however number of times you uh, specified. Uh, but we don't want to include just five. You want to have it uh, do a, uh, a randomly pick a digit. So how do we do this? So uh, we went over the random pass random number generator a while ago, and I'm going to use the exact same code here. So we'll do math dot four math dot random characters dot length. So explaining this is that uh, so math dot random times characters dot length. So characters dot length is going to be the length of whatever many characters we send. So if we're sending this, it'll be 52. If we're sending this, it'll be 62. If we're sending this, I didn't actually count this, but you get the point. So it will uh, pick a random number between zero and the maximum number of length. Uh, it'll round down because we're using math floor. We don't want to do math uh, seal because uh, we won't have a number above, uh, you know, whatever the maximum number is. And it'll assign it to char at. So every time this for loop is run, characters.char at will have a random uh, integer set here, which will then pick uh, pick that character from the characters list here. And it'll do it the number of times that we specify. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. I'm happy to explain. So we'll do return pwd. So to test this, we can do a quick test here in the console. So we'll do console.log password. We, it needs two parameters, so we'll pass in, let's say, 12 characters, and we'll just pass in char. We won't do number or symbol. So we'll do update, run, this inspect element. Whoops, there you go. If I run it again, there you go. We're getting random passwords uh, based on just the uh, alphabet. 
Let's make our code a little smarter and a little bit more configurable. I'm going to close the the console. I'll get rid of that. So we have our function, our password random password generating function here. Get rid of some of these extra lines. Whoops. There we go. I'll leave it down there. And let's create an event listener. So we'll do submit dot add event listener because we want uh, everything here to execute after the user clicks on the submit button. Click dot comma excuse me, function passing the event. We are probably not going to use it anywhere. Close that, and then we'll do uh, let's create a variable. I'll call it var characters just to keep it simple, uh, not to be confused with it. This is a parameter. This is just a variable. I'm calling it the same thing because we're going to be passing this into that uh, into that field equals to char. So by default, uh, since I'm not letting the user uh, select uh, in the alphabet, just number or symbol, every password will have at least uh, characters from char here. And we're going to do a couple of uh, checks using the ternary operator to see if number and symbol are checked. And if they're checked, to concatenate it to characters. So we'll do num box because remember I declared it up here dot checked so all this does is return a true or false uh, if it's checked it'll return a true if it's not it'll return a false so if it is true ternary operator will do characters concatenate num else do nothing let's do the same thing here but I'm going to copy it make it easier for myself we'll do sim box and then them. So it checks to see if numbers number box is checked, this is checked, or this is checked, and it, it concatenates it on uh, to the characters. So if uh, if symbol is checked, it'll skip, obviously it'll skip numbers and go to symbols. If none, none of them are checked, it'll always use characters by default. Once we have this done, we want your password to display, uh, again, another variable that I've declared here, uh, dot value equals to password char num dot value and send it characters. So char num dot value to explain this is that char num is a variable declared on this little text box here. It's, it's actually a number input, uh, number input type. So uh, once you click on the submit button, it will actually get the value uh, from, this in, uh, from this input number type. Uh, and send it to the password function, which we are decoding here as L for length. And we're sending in the characters, which is what we declared here, and which is either getting concatenated with numbers and symbols or not. And we're finally assigning that value, whatever that value is, into the input box here of your password. So now let's update and run. And get rid of these extra white spaces so you can see a little bit better down there. There you go. Update, run. There you go, 12. If I click on submit, there you go. It generates a 12 character, uh, 12 character password based on just characters. If I click on number and click on submit, there's a number in there. Click it again, there are, there's a number in there. Now there are two numbers in there, of course. Uh, if I click on symbol, submit, no symbols yet, no symbols, no symbols. There you go, two symbols down here. Uh, since I'm just using 12 and 52 overwhelmingly uh, overwhelms the numbers and the symbols, you can actually increase these to, uh, I set a maximum of 100. Let's just do a maximum of 30, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Uh, since you can't see that, I'm just gonna add a size attribute here. I'll do 80 run there we go now if i click on this 12 fine let's do 60 there we go you can see a randomly uh generated password every single time uh maximum i put is 100 so a thousand doesn't work it'll only do 100 oh wait does it yeah i guess you can manually input i guess i think that's the, that's a bug in how uh, the number type works in html because I can go up more, but I can actually manually input it. Ah, there you go, found something new. Let's do 10, there you go. K 
can't do less than uh, you can do five here, I guess, but uh, we're not supposed to go below eight, but whatever. You get the point. Well, anyway, that's all you need to know uh, to create a random password generator in JavaScript. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please ask on easyprogramming.net or in the comments below. We've used a lot of uh, topics that we've learned in the past year of Easy JavaScript. So I want to thank you for sticking around for, if you're a new viewer, thanks, welcome. Uh, be sure to check out easyprogramming.net for more tutorials on JavaScript. Uh, it's, it is a brand new website, which I'll take you here. And come back soon for a series of jQuery tutorials, which I plan on releasing pretty soon. Uh, I'll start making those videos uh, uh, soon. Uh, should be fun. Thanks for watching.